Hey guys, the American Reenactor here, and I'm just going to go over my Vietnam impression. It's still a work in progress. I know it's been a long time. I think it's been like, I don't know, man, about a year since my first video. Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of stuff is gone. There's a lot of less stuff here. My boots that I mainly use are actually really muddy right now, so I have my Vibram Soul ones right there. There's some new stuff, some stuff you've already seen. Let's just go in. So, um, first off is my M69, which you guys have already seen. But on the back, I actually graffitied it some. Put first platoon. A friend that, um, he moved away, but he was in my Boy Scout troop, and we did first platoon in Vietnam. Air Cav, first Air Cav, first platoon. Um, but yeah, he moved away. My pants, just Boy Scout pants. They work. Don't have the belt on them, they just got washed. And this is a new item. I got this 60s, 70s radio. You can listen to the TV on it too. It's portable. And there's a wire in the back here. You can plug it in. But I like to keep it on batteries because then I can just take it outside whenever I want instead of having to ravel up the wire which is a pain in the ass and then on the front you can see that that thing's falling off I tried to take it apart and fix it but the, uh, the electronic board thingamajiggy is behind this so I don't want to mess with that see if you change channels that orange thing moves that's the first TV one, second TV one, FM, AM, FM right now, I think. Listen to uh, some Alice in Chains. I think that was the song, or the band. Yeah, Rooster by Alice in Chains. It has really good sound, so. And then, um, 1968 dated Betty and Me comic book. It's pretty good. Oh, shit. Alright, well. I like this part. Girls get first aid, boys get second aid. It's pretty funny. And then. Next, I have my Jam Peach. My B1A unit. I ate these. Uh, alright. My, um, Vibram Soul, eight extra narrow. They don't fit. They're too narrow. Really, I don't have any boots that fit right now because my six wides, I'm actually an eight and a half. And I just grew out of my six wides. It's pretty weird that those fit me for three years. Um, this has changed a lot, my web kit, or my web gear, because, um, uh, yeah, I didn't have an M56 belt, got one from, uh, Warkit 1970, go check out his channel, and it almost was too big, see, the adjusters are all the way over here, and, yeah, I'll flip it over so you can see what's on here, just have a second pattern ammo pouch. Universal Arms. Jeez, I can't get it open. I just have one 20 round mag in there. It's the same one I've had forever. Lemon grenade, just a random knife. A uh, first pattern converted to second pattern. How I know that is because it's dated 1964. And yeah, they didn't make these in 1964. With the 1966 canteen. I just got this when I went to San Antonio for a trip. And then I also got this canteen cover with it and uh, another cup. It might be, no, it's not, but it's an M67 with a post war cap. I need to change that. And then M67 shorty ammo pouch. Just filled with some 
I'm gonna get my cartridge and some hops gun oil just to fill it. And then my uh, second pattern suspenders with second pattern uh, bandage slash first bandit uh, first aid slash compass pouch. Um, first patterns they had no drainage hole, and also the first pattern suspenders had did not have these clips. They had these hooks like in the front. And um, that's the web gear. Uh, 64, 73, 60, 68, uh, 68 dated, 68 dated, uh, no date on the web belt. And then my Airsoft M16. So I need to get an Airsoft um, 20 round mag because the original ones don't really like to fit. Yeah, my helmet. I haven't gotten a review over this, and it's been a while since it's been shown. And it's changed a lot. It got really muddy, but it should have a zip lighter there, some new graffiti, grease. Uh, don't tread on me. Some randomized picture, same graffiti there. Toothbrush for cleaning my M16. Church key bottle opener. Um, no chin straps yet. And uh, um, on the inside, it's the same liner. I'm gonna change it soon, cause actually, yeah, that's why. Like, look, some paint just went on my thumb. My, one of my friends, he's borrowing one of my helmets. I'm just going to ask for it back because it has a nice knob liner in it. I'm going to put it inside of my helmet that I use right now. And then, yeah, then just the utilities, which, yeah, I know it was inaccurate for my impression date, which is 69 to 70. But like I said, it's a work in progress, and it's still coming together. So... Yeah, and that, that's it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.